heels up. So today I am at a really crazy cool location. Something I've always, always wanted to see. Something I really love because I'm a bit of a nerd. Look at that. Ah! I'm at a little plain graveyard. I need to go out of it so you guys can appreciate this thing. Look at that. It is bloody huge. Well, it's not massive, massive, but oh, it's so amazing. Look at this. I'm going to take you inside. Watch my step. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the cabin. Look, it's even got all the little seats. Look at these. It smells like World War II in here. I don't know, that sounds really strange, but oh my goodness. So be careful on the floor. There are a few holes. Look at this. There's not much left in the cockpit, as you can see. Oh, isn't it just oh, something else? Imagine sitting in this and looking out these windows down to the ground below. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. Oh, we've got some of the old dials up here. This wheel here still turns. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the view outside here. I'm trying to avoid all the cobwebs at all costs because I do not like them. Oh, this is amazing. I'll have to go show you the front, guys. The first, this is the view from the cockpit into the crew cabin. Look at this. All the old workings and wirings. Love looking at all this stuff. That there's going right up to the tail. That is a nice claustrophobic little space, so I'm not going to be going in there anytime soon. Look at that. That is an absolute beast. You can hear all the grasshoppers. I mean, look how dry the grass is. We're going through a humongous heat wave right now. Look at this thing, isn't it just the most beautiful thing? Love the teeth, love the eyes. That truly is stunning. Stunning piece of machinery. So I'm now making my way from the first plane over to the second plane. It is so hot today and it's so windy, so I'm sorry if you can't hear me very well. But if you take a look at this second one. So guys, I've made it to the second plane. I'm taking some shelter under the ginormous wing because it is absolutely boiling today. I think this is the hottest I've been in ages and I'm not going to be uh, wandering around here for too long because it is far, far too hot. But look at this. Obviously I will show you more as I'm walking around. I'm currently trying to find a way in. There's a bomb hatch just over there and it's pretty big. but. I'm pretty claustrophobic, so I'm gonna see if I can get inside or not. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what planes is. Usually I'm pretty good with planes, but it's quite a beast. <laughs> so let's go find a way in.
guys so I'm now in the second plane this one is absolutely massive and it's boiling to death in here I actually feel like I'm in an oven I'm sweating so much I feel like a disgusting pig right now but sadly I can't tell you much about the history of this place when it you know why the planes are here why they're abandoned I mean it looks like the whole site itself is abandoned and I believe the strip up there is a, a drag strip and it is used but looking out the window here looks like it's not been used for quite a long time so I'm gonna show you some bits around the plane you know some cinematics and because you know there's lots of little hatches to look at there's loads of little windows and I'm now gonna go out into the wing and get up onto the roof <laughs> wish me luck look at the view out there that's really amazing, isn't it? So now I'm going to go step out onto this one over here. Oh my god, that is so hot. The metal is boiling to death. I feel like I'm melting right now. really hard to tell on camera guys but the wingspan is absolutely ginormous it's so hard to sort of take it all in on camera I guess I'm just being very careful walking along the top of this thing because yeah, some parts just don't feel safe but I want to make it up to the uh, up to the tail just then look at that that's really impressive and there's a hatch that's where I was just now So I'm just making a look to the tail now. Oh, the metal's not feeling great. I don't think I'll stand on there because it's not feeling completely safe, if I'm honest. Oh, I'm so glad I'm up here though. Look at that. <laughs> just here, we're coming up to the nose of the plane. Look at that. Wow. See the wheels for it over there on the grass. Okay, so time to get back off the wing, get back inside. Ooh, oh my god, this hatch is like the tiniest thing. Oh god. This is the hatch I just had to climb up from down in the bomb disposal area to get up into the uh, cockpit. That's a really long tunnel to get down now. Okay, so down the hatch. I'm going out this tiny hole. Oh my god, it's so small. Oh, and I'm back in the bomb area again. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm now out of this plane. Just making my way through the grass here. Lots of prickly things to attack me. Nature says no kind of scenario. But there's another one over there, look. Ow. Alright, it's very tiny and I may not be able to get in there. But it's worth a look anyway. Look at this one, guys. This is tiny. Like a tiny little fighter jet of some sort. Can't really tell you what one though. So guys, I've just been having a scout around. There's no way into this one, sadly. Oh, I'm just been trying to be so careful of all the stingers. Ouch. But yeah, this is definitely some sort of fighter jet, but I don't know what kind. I mean, it is completely destroyed. There's some storage sheds there. Nothing going on in, <laughs> nothing going on in any of those at all. And there's the wing of the plane I was just in. Oh, this is amazing though. I really do love planes and I'm so happy to actually be here to be able to see all this. Look at that, it's beautiful. Okay guys, I am done at the plane graveyard. There's the first plane I explored just behind me there. The other one is way over there past those big concrete pillar things. I'm just making my way back to the car now because it is absolutely sweltering today. I am so, so hot. I need water. I have water with me but I've run out so I need to go back to my car and get more tripping over every rock possible but yeah 
really happy I came to see these planes. They are absolutely stunning. I mean, look at that behind me. I know. I can only imagine what that would have looked like up in the sky, and to fly the thing. Oh, I love planes so much. So I hope to find another plane very bad soon because that would be absolutely amazing, of course. But anyway, that is it for now, guys. I shall say bye, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.